welcome back to our channel. Good morning. You look so cute in that tie-dye cordial. Cordial? Cordial? What's it called? Cord. Cord. Which song are you going to play for us? Twinkle, twinkle, little star? Okay. Okay. Go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, that's not going to be too loud. Because where's, where's Mabel, Amber? Is she sleeping? Oh, she is. <laughs> she is. When they're this age, I feel like nothing wakes them up, which is no. great. Very good. We have now been home for a few days with baby Mabel and um, it's a snow day guys. <gasps> Look at it. I'm going to show you out the back. Look at him, it's still snowing. I don't know how long kind of people are going to be like, has it snowed in Cardiff for ages by the time they see this vlog probably? Yes. Look at it, Amber. Know. We had another play out in the snow this one, didn't we Amber? Snow. It's snowing. It looks so pretty. Did you say no. one of the olive trees is snow? Yeah. Yeah. Look, no. I need to go I don't and... Look. Um, <gasps> no! Yeah. I don't know if it's focused. I've never seen on it. something yeah. like that. I know, it's crazy. I know. So, so it's a snow day. It's a snow day. It's a chill day. We're going to be chilling at home. I've just got one eleven to run. Aren't we, Amber? Maybe we'll watch a nice movie. <gasps> yeah. I, I feel like doing like all snow day stuff, what? like eating soup. That's not very oh. exciting. I know. Eating chocolate. I'm going to walk down the shops. So what should we get? It's like a cozy snow day lunch. Um, what should we have for lunch? Oh, cosy snow day lunch. Mm. We'll have a think if we get a cosy snow day lunch. Mm. So yes, James is off to run some errands. Amber is, look at that, that's amazing, Ams. Walk. Having a little... Going on a walk the sun. You're going on a walk? Well, yeah. yeah wow. Risk oh yeah, no. Now, okay? No, that's true, actually walking yeah, safer. Fine. I would drive if I needed to, but I don't see the point if I don't need to. Little walk in the snow, hen. Exactly. It's only yeah, down the road. A few snowballs at cars driving by, you know, just be a bit of a general menace. That is so you. <laughs> you menace. Okay, have fun, stay safe. Yeah, stay safe, you got us to come back to. <laughs> yeah, and Mabel is just napping over there. I know I showed you her two seconds ago. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. I know I spoke in the last vlog, the 24 hour one, about how it was like a shock with Mabel doing like such short stints in the night, it's been quite difficult. So we're working, it's obviously only our second day home from the hospital really, today, second, third, something like that. So it's still very early days, but we're trying to work a little bit on her cardiac, is it cardiac rhythm? Cardiac something? Cardiac? No. Something, they have a specific word for like, when newborns don't know the difference between day and night. And at the moment, it feels like she very much thinks the day is the night because she sleeps all day. And we're like, oh, yay, great. And then she thinks the night is the day because she's party all night. Sleep all day and party all night. Great for Mabel, not for us. So these are great, aren't they? We've got a circle, a triangle and some squares. Yeah, we're just doing little things to kind of work on um, differentiating between day and night at the moment to hopefully get longer than a 20 minute stint in the night. <laughs> Um, but yeah, things are okay, um, and we just feel so grateful and like still feels very surreal that we're here home as a family of five, including baby girl. Where are you? Hello, baby. You can put them in the basket. Should we get some other toys out? Should we show our house? Oh, good girl. Amber's been an angel. Like, honestly, you're such a good big sister, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and it's crazy to see like how much she picks up on stuff that we've been doing with Mabel, like rocking her, shushing her, things like that. And she started doing it with her toys. And she really wanted to take her little dolly to bed the other day. And she was like cutting her in bed. She was going, shh. And then she was going, and kissed her on the head. And I was like, that's definitely what I've been doing the last few days with Mabel. So she is just lapping it all up. It's been amazing to see her become a big sister. But yeah, we're exhausted, but we're cracking on. Oh, and I actually got time. I said in the last vlog about like, I couldn't see when I was gonna get time to do my nails. Bye bye. Yes. toys. Yes. You're going to get your toys, yes. To play with Mabel. She's sleeping at the moment. We can play with her later. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Um, 
Oh yeah, my nails. So I was so chuffed last night. Um, Mabel was sleeping and we'd put Amber down and we ordered takeaway. So it was like super quick meal. Otherwise, I feel like we spend the evening kind of cooking and all of that. Um, and so I was like, oh my gosh, I've got like an hour before we go to bed. I'm gonna do my nails. I got so excited and honestly, I just feel so fresh. Not fresh here, but it doesn't matter because we're fresh here. What have we got? Ah, good choice. Look guys, we got a camera. You've had this for ages. Nanny bought you this, didn't she? One, two, three, cheese. <laughs> Bushy. One, two, three, guys. Cheese. Smile. Bushy. Yes, we love bouncing on the sofa. What I love about toddlers is they love being like, oh, is it heavy? Well done. Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. Yes, Amber. Thank you, baby. Yeah, I just found that she... Oh, you're taking them back to their playroom? Well done. It's telly. What? It's telly. Yeah, okay, then we watch some telly. Yeah, what I found is that she just loves kind of, like, doing things. Kind of, she's in a stage where she loves, like, if I'm like, get me the water bottle, and I'm like, it's so heavy. She's like, oh, I got it. Um, and, like, kind of getting me the nappies, getting me the things for Mabel. And then the other day, like, oh, I got the cutest photo of them because Mabel was lying there, and I just needed to grab her nappy literally from like the basket there. Hi guys, one second. I'm just getting Peppa Pig on for a second because having a bit of a movie snow day today. Kitchen and trying to survive with very little sleep. Um, her nappy was literally just there and I was like, Amber, can you just hold Mabel's hand for me while I get her nappy just so um, she doesn't go anywhere? Um, you need to look after her for me and it was like she felt like such a big girl she was like oh, okay mummy and she sat next to her and she like held her hand and I literally like picked up my phone and I was like oh my god that's the cutest photo ever she was just looking at her like and holding her hand I was like literally melting oh it's my my um lock screen oh, I'll pop up the photo because I can't even be bothered to journey literally over to the table over there to get my phone so yes we're gonna pick a Disney film and have a little watch of that today, I think. Also guys, how cute is this? My mum knitted this for Mabel. It's honestly adorable and it actually fits her. It's so hard to find like little cardigans and stuff that fit them when they're this small. And it's actually the perfect little sweet size. So I was sending my mum photos of her in it yesterday. It's honestly adorable. Um, to be honest, I can't, I honestly can't believe that we have, that she's here. Like I keep looking. Also, Amber loves this doll's house. This was a great little, a great little buy keeping her entertained um I keep looking at this photo over here and I'm like this just feels like so long ago that we were like so kind of early on and just so excited and I I just can't believe she's here and that time just flies and then obviously we've got this one underneath which is Amber as a little tiny baby and I'm like it's just gonna go so quick guys I'm not ready so Mabel's still sleeping we just had a little delivery look at this what's this let's open it you pull open <gasps> Two babies. Ooh. Open. Oh. Open. That's for the bath. Oh. Cookies. Chocolate. I thought you'd know that was chocolate, cheeky. Should we have these in a minute? Oh, more chocolate. You put all the chocolates in a pile. Oh, what have we got? Oh, stop it. Oh, look, I'm just a little jumper for you, and it says besties. Oh my gosh, look at this. I love stuff like this. One, two, I think there's another chocolate in there. Can you find it? Oh, I think that's chocolate as well. A little heart. This is lovely too. It's gorgeous. Daddy! I think he's coming this way. Daddy? 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 Which way has he gone? I only saw him two seconds ago out in the Daddy. snow. He was coming up the drive two seconds ago. Where is he? Oh, is he? Is he that way? In the kitchen? In the kitchen? Go, 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 go. Yay! <laughs> oh, bless him with his little bag of goods. waking up yeah, just in time <laughs> just in time for daddy's return she awakes woohoo 
You got your bread? Oh yes, that looks lovely. Should we have some bread? Yes, we'd love some bread. Oh, lovely bread. So Amber's munching on her bread. We're going to make ourselves some lunch. Thought I'd do a little outfit of the day. This is literally going to be what I wear for the next 12 weeks. <laughs> joggers. I've bought so many joggers because these are just joggers are the best to wear with like basically nappies slash massive pads for your postpartum bleeding. I just find joggers you feel like the most safe in. I know. You then go through birth and then you get cramps from your stomach <laughs> and then you bleed. Like, oh, I know, goodness. I know. Literally, the cramps, the after pains I got with the second baby was crazy. It was like kind of like early labour again. Are you meant to like go back to pre-pregnancy quicker for the second onwards? I think it's because you stretch more. You stretch more, do you? With, because you tend to have a bigger baby. We didn't, but my bump was definitely bigger. So I think your uterus stretches more. And so maybe, I don't know what the science is behind it. Because it does seem weird. But yeah, with your first baby, you don't really get those after pains, which is your uterus like going back to size. But with second and beyond babies, you get like really like kind of cramps and goes back into back to size. But yeah, it just feels so weird having like no bump, but also like kind of like, so kind of a little sorry, bump. What? Sorry. She's just so adorable. I know. She's just over there eating her bread. Oh, gosh, she's definitely my kid. <laughs> we do. Fresh white bread. Love it. Sourdough loaf. Oh. Can't beat it. And then you've got to try it. you just got to give her a little bit and then be like, no, no, that's not actually lunch. We need to eat something better than I know. That. We white would just eat that. Better. <laughs> all day, every day. Bless her. Oh, look at this closed. tummy time. Good girl. The, door, the door's closed, yeah. Smashing it. Oh, can we see inside your house, please? Open. <laughs> Can we open your house? Open, please. Okay. In... Okay, or oh, you're going to open it from the back. <laughs> Should we open the front? You're matching your house today in pink and white. Okay. There we go, the front door's open. Oh, hello. Oh, Whoa. oh wow. It's so nice. Okay. Oh, that was a nice glance. <laughs> Just a little look. Come on then, could you open it again, please? <laughs> <laughs> Got some more, some more piano playing. <laughs> Get your piano lessons. How, how young? How young's too young? I know. This so my young. This my young yeah, this young. My grandma's a piano teacher, and she's so excited to be able to have a little toddle with Amber when she's a little bit older. I think she said three was like an actually good age to kind of start. Obviously, they don't start actually like you know whatever. Yeah, you start doing basic scenes. Yeah. And stuff, isn't it? Yeah, she's so good. She'll know what to obviously teach her, but. Um, <laughs> She loves tinkling for now, so that's great. This, this, this is actually Incy Wincy Spider. Is it? Let's actually open the page for Incy Wincy Spider. That's Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy Spider, <laughs> and Jack the Water. Oh. I know it's annoying that book doesn't close. Morning! Oh gosh. We Morning! We got out the house, guys, with two toddlers. Two babies. Two toddlers! Sorry. A toddler and a baby. Like, if we thought it took a while to get out with one. Oh goodness, I think yeah. it took us about half an hour from being like, we're almost ready to go. And then it still took us like another half an hour. I know, literally, Amber was literally waiting at the door like, car keys, let's go. Oh, gosh. We're like, you haven't even got your shoes on, hen. We're like two nappy bags. <sighs> it's a lot. This, that, blankets I know. for everyone. No. Oh, no. I know, and I just feel like every kid that you add to your life, you must look back and be like, I, yeah. It was just so easy with one, yeah, and then so you have two, so and you easy think, with four, now yeah, you've got six. I know. Well, there's probably people looking with three, yeah. going, "Oh, it was so easy when we just had two nappy bags to do." Well, you don't <laughs> have nappy bags then; you just have bags full of yeah. snacks and all sorts. But then maybe, even if you have them quite quick, yeah, by the time you have your third, there's a good chance the older one is will be a bit more like get your own coat, not necessarily running around like a lunatic. On. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. You would hope. <laughs> Who knows though? Um, so this morning we are off to James's parents. We're going to have a little gathering there, cup of tea. Amber goes there um, today. So we're going to kind of stop off and just have a nice little catch up with them. And we, then, sorry, yeah, go on, go on. We, I was going to say, we were going to have the first two weeks where Amber didn't go to the yeah. parents. And instead they came to us. Yes. Apart. But last time we saw my mum, she wanted to go to her yeah. house. She was like, Nanny's house? She loves her route. Nanny's house? Go to Nanny's house? And then they also like <gasps> took her out to the park with that. Yeah. She was like, bye bye. She, she was, like, was like, bye. Yeah. We were like, 
would you like to go? You can stay if you want. She was like, bye, ma'am, bye, dad, bye, Mabel. We didn't I was want like, her to feel like we just had this new baby that we're kicking around, but she really wanted to go. So we were like, fine, you just go to Nanny's house then. Yeah. If you, if you love us that little, off you go. That's the thing, she loves being home with us, but she also loves her routine. Yeah. She loves her little things that she has at both our parents' houses. Yeah. Like, yeah, she just loves it. And it's been, a, like, I know I talked about it a little bit, but my biggest anxiety before baby Mabel came was, I don't know why I keep calling her baby Mabel, I just call her Mabel now. <laughs> We did that with Maybe Amber Mabel. for about six months. We were like, we're never going to stop. And then we just stopped. God, baby Amber just sounds weird baby now. Amber. Baby oh, Amber. Still my baby. I know. <laughs> the thing I was most worried about was um, Amber and how she was going to yeah. adjust and everything. And that has been an absolute dream come true. It's funny what like you most worry about yeah. has been like the dreamiest. And then oh, probably yeah. the thing that I least worried about was lack of sleep. And that's been the thing that we've worried about the yeah. most since she's been here. Um, so yeah, you can never guess what what each baby's going to be like she's and how it's going to be. She's just a star, and she I has. know that can change. Maybe she thinks this is temporary baby. baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And maybe that'll change, but she has, she's just... She's lush with it. She's just limboed into it. She's so flexible. She, she, and she really like names her as part of the family. Yeah. Like now when she, she loves listing names, she always has. Um, she always includes she always Mabel. Has. She, she always has. She was since 10 years ago. Um, and she wakes up, she's like, where's, so yeah, this morning she woke up, she was like, where's Mummy? Where's Mabel? Breaks where's Mummy and Mabel? Breaks my heart. I know, it's so, so lush, and she just loves helping out with her and everything. Anyway, and then we're going to go on off, well, my pretty much first dog walk in a while, because as you guys know, end of pregnancy, I was very restricted in my body's movements um, and you know there's things that I've got now like pelvic floor and all of that which kind of comes crashing down after you give birth like immediately um, but there's other things like not so much hip pain not so much pelvic pain I feel like a new woman so I'm really excited to get out and just start walking because fitness is such an important part of our lives for mental health and it's something that I haven't been able to do for a long time and it's really taken a toll on like just how I feel and kind of using my body and it's, it's such a form of self-care and just going out on a walk I didn't realize how when that was taken away from me how much I felt sorry for my body that it couldn't go out and move and like yeah. it's just made me so grateful to have to be able to to move and, and use my body and it's just yeah it's brought a whole new kind of perspective is that the right word on fitness yeah. and movement and appreciation. and appreciation for our bodies they're freaking amazing we say that um, now we'll be halfway through the dog walk and you'll be like <gasps> i'll be like oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh dear but i am like no like i do know it's literally going to be from square one for me like i will be out of breath after five minutes of walking and that's okay like that's going to be a good thing it's going to be a good thing that my body is pumping and struggling and i've always felt that about exercise it's never a bad thing if your fitness levels are at a point where you go on a two minute walk and you're out of breath at least you're doing it and if you're out of breath you're struggling and that's good for your body anyway long ramble short we're getting a costa drive through <laughs> So gotta go, order my coffee. Shall I go for like the summer vibes, iced fat white again? James keeps getting iced drinks oh, no, and I'm like, babe, it's cold, okay, it's it is sunny. sunny, it's sunny. And I'm just like all for the oat lattes at the moment. Do you, Do know you want what's... an oat latte again? Yes, please. Nice. Yes, please. <laughs> so we're out on the dog walk. Woohoo! We've got baby Mabel in the pram. Why is Mila like this? She's following us. Hi Mila, oh, she's waiting what for her next ball throw. She's a good no, but she's not oh, running. Why are you just running off? Why are you oh, running, hun? <laughs> there she is. Sleeping soundly. We've got our off-roading pram here because we kind of like off-road onto the fields. Um, sorry, I'm just spinning you around there. Yes, we've got the off-roading pram out. We've got the little one, which I know we've shown in loads of vlogs as well, which is like amazing for both Amber and Mabel for like going around town and like all those kind of things. And then this is good because it has the jumbo wheels because we do tend to literally go like into the mud and like, kind of like off-roading. So it's good with the big wheels for this one. But we haven't used this one in a while because we, uh, yeah, we have that other little one that we use as well. But yes, first kind of proper walk since, you know, Different that things. not being able to walk at all um, uh, the last half of my pregnancy. So I'm feeling so grateful for my body nice right now. Chilled one. Yes. Nice chilled one. We've got a couple of baguettes that we picked up. Woo! And we're eat halfway through. Yeah. Oh. I'm so excited and happy to be back on dog walks. And hopefully my body will cope today with maybe an hour long dog walk that might be a bit optimistic but we'll see we're setting short sweet fitness goals for myself 
feel good fitness goals and yeah just feeling proud of my body throughout the journey but yeah Woo. so we are 20 minutes into the walk James has just taken Mila off down there for a little paddle in the river um I was hoping to do an hour but like I said I think that was probably a little bit optimistic um so we've done 20 minutes and we're gonna head back now once Mila's finished swimming I've got a lot of heaviness going on down there which if you're someone with pelvic floor issues or you've been to a pelvic floor physio they often use that word heaviness um, when you're dealing with pelvic floor problems um, it's a really strange feeling to explain but it literally feels like things are just gonna drop out from underneath down there so I'm trying to listen to my body I've got a lot of heaviness I've got a lot of I'm trying to like spare anyone's ears that are walking past I'm weeing myself <laughs> basically and you know I've got achy abs achy legs from walking for 20 minutes it's crazy it's so hard not to feel demotivated but um you know I'm actually gonna flip that on my on its head and actually just feel really proud of myself oh there he <laughs> there he is so yeah Woo. Oh, Oh, that's lush meals. Little snot ball on your nose. Do you have fun paddling? Woo! <laughs> she is fast in there still. I don't know how well you can see her. But yep, yeah, she's absolutely loving life. Woo! Gone. Like red and dog. <laughs> Good kick. Good girl. Can you imagine if I tried to kick? Woo! There'd be a whole new river to it's swim in. It's quite muddy. I almost ended up on my backside in my first kick. Yeah, I know. Whee. So, back from our walk, she's got her, this is zero to three months, so it's like a nice oversized knit on her, you know, going for the oversized knit jumper vibes. Home from our walk, gonna make a cup of tea, do you want one darling? He's on his emails, he's on his emails. No, I'm actually booking the appointment to oh. register her as a human, Oh. as a birth human, born human. Right, I'll let you off then. Yes, I'd love a cup of tea. Cup of tea, my darling. Um, we've just had the stuff, the bits, of, why am I getting three mugs out? Um, the stuff for, that I ordered for her name reveal. I know by now when we put up the video, you all know she's called Mabel and we would have already done the name reveal, but let me show you the stuff. It's so, so sweet. So in case you didn't see this on my Instagram or TikTok or anything like that, this lady does the most insane products of like Boole. This was actually the lady who did our Whitaker House Christmas trees. She has a business and she um, yeah supplied our Whitaker House Christmas trees that we did which were like Boole and Linen. But um, she does all her own products too and oh, I just had to what? get some. Hello? You offered me a cup of tea and <laughs> the tea is not Do you want to do the cup of <laughs> You're back to your duties. Excuse me, wife. James is the best cup of tea. the tea bag in the mug. <laughs> they're just the loveliest. They're so soft as well. Like, they're just so soft and fluffy. So I went for... Um, I did order these, by the way. They weren't gifted or anything, just to be transparent. Um, yeah, I ordered a cloud and if, i don't know why i'm telling you what i've ordered you can literally see it right here I've ordered a cloud, uh, that's a cloud a half moon present that's a, a balloon a balloon and a little blanket look how cute the balloon is. and as you can see the blanket has her name and, and the balloon so has the balloon. her name but the cloud and the half moon present so thank you darling does not have her name thank you so is napping she is um and i am just doing some editing. James has just run to the shops for me. Well, he's going to pick up some like food bits, um, but I'm just editing like the birth vlog and some TikToky things. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, he just FaceTimed me from Sainsbury's like, what pads am I getting again? So I was meant to send him a photo and I didn't. And I was like FaceTiming him. I was like, just get anything that says maxi overnight plus 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 massive pads just get anything that says that it should be fun <laughs> um so yeah that's what i'm cracking on with now while she naps um yeah that's how our day's going so far so i have these lactation cookies which i was talking about on my instagram stories because they taste unreal and whether they work or not guys i don't even care i just want an excuse to eat 
a cookie that tastes this good and it to be for my bulk supply. Obviously, like like pumping, feeding, that's the best thing for like kind of feeding on demand and everything like that. That is obviously the best thing for your milk supply. But if I can get away with having a cookie to improve my milk supply, I will. Oh, some raw. Morning, guys. It's now the next day. We're making tea. We're having our morning cups of tea. Okay. Is tea ready? Is tea ready? Oh, cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want some tea, Mabel? Mm, cheers, Amber. That's gorgeous. Cheers. We've lost our mugs, haven't we? The ones that go with our teapot. So we've got real mugs. Big girl mugs. Who <sighs> wants her tea now? Let's give Mabel her tea and then we can have ours. Lovely, thank you Amber. So, good morning. We are having a lovely chilled morning, playing, chilling. What should we play next? More tea! More tea! So, do you know what, more tea? Oh, I'd love a cup of tea. Amber, look, <laughs> we've made Mummy a cup of tea. Woo! Among all the chaos, I am trying to make some um, salmon and cheese toasted sandwiches. <laughs> I thought I'd be like really cool and make something I've never made. I absolutely love kind of like tin salmon on toast. <laughs> and then we haven't had it for a while. And I was like, oh, I can make them into like cheesy salmon sandwiches. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, but I'm just gonna quickly see what, and then and then everything's going on and tea was spot in the playroom and I went in and type, they'll be made. Why not try a new recipe? Basic toasty sandwich will be done within the next hour, I think. <laughs> oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's time for Mabel to say night night. Say night night, Mabel. And Emma says morning. Oh my goodness, guys! You've even put it on a, a platter. I know. Woo. I put it on there, and I thought we would keep it on there. Woo. Do you want some? You better love these. Wow. It's a highly stressful environment they were made. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. You're gonna try it. Should we do a cheers? Cheese and salmon. Ready. Salmon. Cheers! Cheese and yes. salmon! Take, you take one. <laughs> Cheers everyone! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Whoa! Mmm! Mm. Nice! <laughs> I'll eat yours, don't worry Amber. Oh, that's nice. Pepper You're putting Pepper and Mabel to sleep. So nice, Amber. Good job. <laughs> Who's got the cutest hair in the world? <laughs> Look at those bunches. Wobble them. Wibble wobble. Wibble wobble. <laughs> So cute, Amber. <laughs> wibble wobble, wibble wobble. <laughs> so we are now heading out to see our friend's new house. They got the keys to their new house literally on the day Mabel was born, so we haven't been able to go and see it yet. So we're off to see it now. We're amongst that. Let's get out the door. Yeah, chaos. The chaos. <laughs> Woohoo! We just had to wake Mabel for a nap. For bless her soul. But we're getting in the car. We're going, oh, also look at these beautiful flowers my friend brought yesterday. They're so stunning. She put together a little bouquet of tulips and gypsophilia, which are my faves. Okay, right, let's go. Let's go, Mabes. So we're back from seeing our friend's new house. It was beautifully chaotic. Um, it was hilarious, actually. We were all just laughing the whole time at how chaotic our lives are. Like, they've moved into this house, which they're doing like a renovation of, so there was like nothing inside the house. Um, and it was just like, we were firstly their dog in the in their garden had rolled in some like fox poo or something so we were all like stinking of fo them. <laughs> we were all like sniffing ourselves like trying to wipe this fox poo off us and, we and had then the so we were all stroking the dog and then we were all like yeah 
And then we were like, oh my goodness. And then it was like, Mabel wanted to feed. There was no chairs in the house, obviously. So I was walking around like feeding Mabel. <laughs> we were doing the house tour. It's just like, Amber was like a crazy toddler running around. Mabel was just like crying yeah. on my boob. We Amber all smelled of dog poo. On whatever floor of the house, in which there's only two, obviously. Yeah. That we were not on. Exactly. So we downstairs, she wanted to be upstairs. So we were upstairs, she wanted to be downstairs. As a toddler would. Um, so it was just like, we were just all laughing so much at just how chaotic our lives had become. Yeah, and like, we were trying to leave and get out the door. And it just like chaos was following us and I was just like opening their car like they have a sort of similar looking car they're just both black and I was just chatting to them like bye guys trying to open the, their car door and James was like wrong car and I was like I'm done it's so cool I'd like I know. just put Amber in our car which I is know. behind their car I know. and you were there like yeah it's all chill to you in the Whittaker <laughs> house all right bye lovely to see you I was it's like, Michael, don't worry about the crying babies. This is, everything's fine getting into the wrong car. It was just great. But yeah, we're home now. Peace. Mabel's asleep. Mm. Me and Amber are chilling. Amber's going down for a nap any second now. Fingers crossed. I think she's missing a nap again. Yeah. She's starting to miss a couple of her lunchtime naps. And that is, like you said, isn't it? Something that's a bit common with all the siblings yeah. when their new baby comes home. Yeah. Are you enjoying your apple? I'm taking Mila back, by the way. Bye. That's why she's got this harness I, on. She's waiting patiently. On a dog walk. <laughs> yeah. It's Amber's apple, yeah. But Pepper likes them. Pepper. Bye, Mabel. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Bye, Mabel. Bye, bye. <laughs> she's so peaceful of it. Bye, Mabel. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Don't throw an apple at her whenever you do. Just have a little look. Aww. She's sleeping. She has a couple of times gone off to her and gone, wake up, Mabel. I know, she's like, hop little vernies. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's Hop little vernies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little vernies, hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hop, have fun. Hop, hop, hop. I've just put Amber down. Take those off, I think that's better. Sometimes they glare so much my glasses. Um, and breathe. James is out on the dog walk. Amber's down for her nap. Mabel's sleeping. I think Mabel's gonna have quite a long sleep because um, she was exhausted, bless her, because she'd kind of like woken up. Done. They do such little awake time at this age. And um, we kind of been busy and around, in and out of the car seat. She kind of been like having disturbed sleep all morning. And then, um, you know, she wanted to feed at the house and it was just like, everything was chaotic. So um, she's kind of been like disturbed all morning. Such a good girl, bless her. But um, yeah, so she was like knackered. So when we got back, I, I sorry, my brain is so slow. Um, she went down like so quickly for a nap and I have a feeling she's gonna do like a three or four hour stint um but i'm gonna need to wake her up to feed her because my boobs are already rock solid they they fill with milk so quickly after they've fed and i'm not sure if it's because she's been cluster feeding loads kind of like early days and everything and so your milk supply is kind of working out the supply and demand um for everything like that uh, it's amazing how your body does it it just baffles me um but yeah so my boobs are already feeling painful and full. Uh, so I don't know how long I'm gonna last until I wake her up for a feed. Um, I tend to feed her just like every two and a half hours roughly, which was the same as with Amber. Um, but yeah, I, I was saying to James, like it's funny how different kind of, I'm sure with every child, you kind of, you forget about the things that, so like with Amber, my breastfeeding journey at the start was like, quite hard and like I, I went to the breastfeeding clinic like and I kind of like she had quite a few problems with like latch and and then I used the nipple shields and like that took over my mind so much when I first had Amber and it's like I haven't even thought about breastfeeding this time around and I, I, I had to stop and think today like how grateful I am that that's been that that's come so kind of like like well for us both or like happened so well this time around because that wasn't the case with Amber and um, but you know there have been different things like this this baby has done this baby has done cluster feeding and things that amber didn't do so there's just like that's been filling my mind like what is cluster feeding why is this happening blah 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 blah. you know research and all of that when last time it was breastfeeding so even though there's different things every time i feel like it's really nice to like step back and appreciate actually what you haven't been ha haven't had to be stressed about um which is yeah 
so nice this time around that um, I found breastfeeding just a lot more um, a lot more easy and I'm sure my body and boobs and everything are much more used to it because with Amber I had so much nipple pain it was unbelievable and I know that's so common with at the start of, with breastfeeding and um, you know I don't know whether that was because it was my first time breastfeeding so like it's a massive adjustment for your body or Amber had a tongue tie in the end quite a bad tongue tie in the maybe that was why it was so painful at the start who knows but this time around i've had no pain um which i was surprised by uh but you know it could be for a number of reasons but because you've got other things to think about you just like almost take it for granted and like move on where it's actually like oh no that's actually something to be really happy and grateful for um because that was such a stress and such a painful experience last time with amber overall feeling really positive and really good um I was really we were both really anxious the first few days of having her home when she was like waking every 20 minutes and we were just like oh my gosh how are we going to do this but um it's almost nice having that to put things in perspective because now like if she does a two hour stint in the night I'm like Woo! I am happy with that I could deal with that forever <laughs> um so yeah we're feeling so much more positive and just really really loving kind of adjusting to this new chaotic life you know it's just trying to go with the beautiful chaos that it is um but yeah at the moment we've got a nice calm minute now whilst amber naps james walks the dog mabel naps i'm going to treat myself to a cup of tea and chalky speckled eggs from marks and spencers honestly guys these are the best they are so delicious so yeah i'm gonna go and chill now I'm enjoying my tea and eggs. <laughs> ready, ready for painting. You're ready to do your painting? Are you excited? Mummy and Amber are going to do painting together. Oh. Woo! Yeah. Woo for painting. Let's choose our colours. Ooh. Woo! Should we open them? Let's have a look which colours we've got. Whoa! you can see some more tulips here in the back i think everybody knows what my favorite flower is we had um my grampy and my dad visiting just now um and they bought tulips because they know how much i love them and my friend got those tulips yesterday look at so many tulips oh wow that is beautiful amber <clears throat> which color do you want purple purple is beautiful <laughs> so amber's cracking on with her painting james and mabel <laughs> oh, wow. Are watching the rugby. Mabel's loving it. She can't. She can't. She can't live it anymore. <laughs> He's entranced in the rugby. Amber's entranced in painting. I came in. I turned on the fairy lights from guys, just in case if you're wondering if he oh, actually. I didn't notice he. That. <laughs> I was wondering why you came in here. <laughs> you wouldn't even notice. I love just like setting up cozy vibes. <laughs> because I. I come in. It's literally pitch black in there, and I'm like, no, you need cozy vibes, and he doesn't even notice. Anyway, back to the painting with Amber. You want to do painting together? Okay. Okay, let's do some together, shall we? Shall mummy draw mm, no. a smiley face? Okay. Like this, look. One, two, face. What, a smiley face, yeah. And smile. <laughs> smile. Yes, yeah, smile. Shall I draw? Um, orange. An orange? Okay. Eh, that's an orange. <laughs> an orange circle. So guys, I'm trying something that I saw. I'm going to try something I saw on, I can't remember where I saw it now, but you blow up a bag like that, basically, and then you paint. So if you paint the bag for me, paint by here, and you put a colour on it, that's it. Eh? And then you do this. <laughs> well, you give yourself fun. That did not turn out. Oh, oh I 
saw it on Facebook. Oh, no, no, not on Facebook. I don't even go on Facebook. On uh, Instagram. It was literally created no, little flower shape. Rubbish. No, it's rubbish. Mummy's one was rubbish. No, that's no good. No. We should do potato shapes one day. That would be fun. Potatoes. Potatoes, yeah. Your favourite. Potatoes. <laughs> Hello, guys. It is now... The next day, I think. Did we vlog yesterday? I can't remember. All the days are like literally mushing into one. I'm just about to make myself a drink and I've got my McDonald's crispy chicken wrap. Crispy chicken garlic mayo wrap. Mm -mm -mm. Um, we got a McDonald's earlier, but I was too busy. We've been having like our first kind of like proper, well, it's not really a proper work day back, I would say, but it's the first day of kind of like filming content, hence the face. I have not looked. I say this dress up, my hair is still scraped back into... The, how cute is this little claw thing? So cute. I love a little claw thing like that. And I've got a new technique, actually, which I'm feeling. Where you put it in a bobble, pull out the little strands, obviously, we love the little strandies. Um, but put it in a bobble allows you to, like, tighten it and pull it up and, like, have these bits kind of get a bit messier. And then, like, fold it over into a bun and then wrap the... I just keep seeing TikToks of all cool, like, ways of doing a claw clip. But usually they have like loads of thick, amazing natural hair and mine's like boop. So I like wrap it around. It just does this like tiny little claw thing. But I think it looks still quite fresh, quite nice. Um, so yeah, we it's half three now. Amber went down for a nap at my parents. So I had, just to sum up what's been happening today, because I know we haven't picked up the camera yet. Um, but basically James had a morning with Amber, I had a lie-in because um, we had, I wouldn't say a rough night, but it's still kind of like a lot of like night wakings and stuff, which is very normal for this um, kind of age. But like every two hours, I am happy with that, guys. But it still kind of like works out as quite a lot of wakings through the night. Um, but like, like I said before, if it's more than every 20 minutes, like it was the first few nights, I am happy. Yeah, James very kindly let me have a lie-in because as well, I'm gutted by how much my body is actually struggling with everything going on. But yeah, basically we went for that walk where I was like really excited to kind of like get back to it. Obviously I've been struggling in pregnancy with how unfit, unhealthy and kind of restricted that my body has felt and I've never felt so motivated to like self-care my body back into the fittest and healthiest, not the fittest and healthiest I can be because that is like gonna be way too fit and healthy to what I can actually fit into my lifestyle, but a fitter and healthier version of myself and just feel good and just like look after my body and just respect it because, you know, our bodies are amazing and I think it's really made me realize how much when just those things are taken away from you, like not being able to walk, um, for more than five minutes, blah, blah, blah. I know I've said this over and over, but yeah, I just feel a whole new appreciation for my body. Um, but anyway, I feel like I got really excited. Like we went on that 40 minute walk and now my milk's come in, my boobs are huge. I thought my hip and pelvic pain would go and the walk kind of like aggravated them again. I thought that was Mabel crying then, but it's a bird outside. <laughs> She's in the lounge with James. And I was like, can I hear her crying? My mum instincts. No, it's just a bird squawking outside. Um, I feel like I got really excited for everything to be like back to normal. It's just not going back to normal. I know I'm only a week or so, literally a week and a few days post part him but I feel like yesterday it just kind of like all built up and I had a little kind of like meltdown I put both babies to bed and I just went onto the rocking chair and just rocked and had a little cry and I felt like it was just needed like it wasn't a bad thing that I had a cry I feel like for whatever reason you today or tomorrow whatever day feel like you need a cry like I just think it's the best thing to allow yourself to just go away and have that little bit of time to just like Cry, and it doesn't have to be over anything major. It can literally be over the fact that you're just feeling anxious, you stubbed your toe, you just need to cry, okay? We just need to cry out sometimes. Um, and I needed that yesterday because I was like aching. My milk is, my boobs are genuinely, I said to my mum earlier, like I'm gonna weigh them. I'm actually gonna weigh them. I need to know how much they weigh. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm feeding Mabel at the moment. So my milk's come in, my huge boobs then become even heavier, literally. James picked them up yesterday. He couldn't like get over how heavy they were. They're like rocks. His arms were like aching. So when this happened, this happened last time with Amber, they come in, they're so heavy. It's then like having dumbbells literally on your chest. So every time I'm moving like that, my abs are getting a workout. I don't even have abs and they are very, very recovering at the moment from birth, pregnancy. You know, I have a massive abs separa ab separation. Which is why your abs like move. I don't really know what it is, but it basically like 
my core's so weak. I had it really bad with Amber and I'm sure I've got it even worse this time round. I just feel weak, I feel useless. And I was like sat on the floor yesterday, changing Mabel's nappy and then I like went to stand up, my hips like literally gave way on me and I was like, oh, that reminded me of like how bad they were in pregnancy. And then I was like, right, one, two, three, heave myself up. <laughs> my boobs were like killing because I needed to feed her and they were like full of milk and then obviously when you like heave or do anything like that I feel like even if I just walk five steps at the moment my whole insides feel like they just empty out into my pad my giant pad nappy and I just needed a moment to just melt down and be like I just feel not like myself at all so I needed that moment yesterday today I am back into the mindset of okay like this is gonna be a long process, it's gonna be a long time. I need to stop setting myself goals to feel like I can achieve things and do things too quickly, which I do do a lot. Um, and yeah, just kind of like take it slow, which I'm not good at. But anyway, today I'm feeling much better. Like I said, Amber kind of had a morning with James. I had a little lie and then she went to my mum's for her nap. She had like a little play there and she went, she loves like napping up my mum's and then playing with they've just got this like rocking horse thing in her like bedroom that she sleeps in in there and she just like rocks on it for like five hours i swear um so uh i'm gonna go and pick her up in a bit but we just took today to kind of be our like first day back to kind of like filming and i just filmed um mabel's little name reveal i know that will have all been in like previous videos because i know this is like a jump ahead now um but yeah i just like had we had a bit of a content creating lunchtime into afternoon today so now i'm going to do some editing and um, before i go and pick amber up i'm going to eat my crispy chicken mayo sandwich have my pomegranate cordial and then do some editing and then go and pick amber up like i said james and mabel are watching the rugby together in the lunch back to our team making station baby's a napping Maybe it's actually just there. I know. She, she follows us. Sue, room to room. She doesn't go in that little carriage and we were like, let's go make tea. It's so handy, honestly. So, this morning we have had a lovely morning. James went, oh, I'm going to go. You explain what you did. I'm just going to get my bras. Well, the health minister came to um, make sure Mabel was progressing and she's doing absolutely great. Um, and then I dropped cars to town her to do a couple of things, which we'll show you in a second, and I took Amber to soft play for an hour, and then I picked the cows back up from town with Mabel. Oh, Mabel saved with the cows. This is so exciting. I just thought I'd show off my lovely new bras. So I, milk came in, boobs are huge anyway, even when I'm, well, like, when I'm not breastfeeding, um, but when I breastfeed, they get so big and so heavy. Last time I breastfed with Amber, I had these bras, which are like the Marks and Spencers ones, which are so oh, comfy. Jeff, you're gonna get us demonetized. Um, that's literally what you can see. <laughs> a little bit of black material. Um, they are so comfy, but they are just not supportive. There is no support going on. And I am literally doing like, it's like dumbbells are hanging off my chest and my abs are hurting, everything's hurting. And I just thought, right, I'm gonna nip this in the bud. We're gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna nip this in the bud. Nip. Like oh my god! And bread. Brilliant. Wow. You're so clever. Sorry, I've only done one cup here with a tea bag in. That yeah, is that so savage. Like very cursed, it? That does sound yeah. like me, doesn't it? Yeah. God, I'm horrible. And it's a Christmas bug. Stop it all up. Which mug would you like? This one? Time to get cozy. Does that look like a me mug? No, it doesn't. Does it? Oh, like this one. Yes. <laughs> you want me that for my birthday. You love it. It's um, so yeah, went to Bravissimo today, was very nervous, um, but Mabel was an absolute angel, slept the whole time, so I was thinking, right, this is just a recipe for disaster, isn't it? Like, you go in, you have an appointment, and then the baby just starts screaming, it's like, do you leave the appointment? Do you have to, like, feed her during the appointment? And it's like, you know, we would have figured it out, but luckily, she slept soundly the whole time, it was a dream. Um, and basically what I loved about Bravissimo is I'm such an unorganised person. If I had to book an appointment, I would never have done it. Um, but you literally just walk in, go up a little lift, and there's this like whole area where they can like just measure you up. And I just basically explained that I needed just nursing bras because they've got a smaller selection, obviously bras that are nursing. Um, so we tried them all on, we tried sizing, and it is so good because I have been wearing a 36G, I think. Yep, 36G, I think was this one. Can you film in it with the water? Thank you, doll. I was wearing a 36G 
and I measured as a 36 double H. So that's one, two sizes up from what I needed. Like I was two sizes up from what I was wearing. So um, as soon as you put the bras on, like they just looked so much better. Oh my goodness, they was, that is on a complete angle, sorry. Um, they were so supportive and they're so cute as well. I know it's hilarious. If you've got big boobs, you'll know that the problem of trying to like look like you've got cute underwear. Like look, look at me holding this up to you. Trying to <laughs> cute undies. It's like the front end of a snowplow. <laughs> I can, it's bigger than my head, okay? <laughs> um, they're not really the cute intimate undies that, you know, off the, off the boom. They look extreme, but once they're on, <laughs> they actually fit so nice. So I got that one and they're all nursing bras as well. So they have like the little hooks and you just pull them down. And this one, and what was funny, what <laughs> is this? <laughs> How big is that? <laughs> you put them on and they're like snug as a bug. Um, so yeah, what was funny was the woman wasn't breastfeeding at all, but she was still wearing this nursing bra because she thought it was so cute. And I agree, it is, look how cute that is. That is so that is. cute. I don't know why I'm trying to show you that, but it's not that interesting, but how cool is that? It's just very satisfying clicking it together. So those are the three bras I got. Hopefully they're gonna change my life. <laughs> And they just literally lift my boobs to the next level. And they just like, I don't know how, they separate them, they support them. It's got like, whoa, it just like lifts my whole body up. I'm like a new woman like that. But then I will find that in like vest tops and everything, it, they'll just look and I'll not be used to them being so kind of lifted up. So it'll probably take a little getting used to, but the right bra size is gonna be so much better for my back. And if anyone's wondering, because I get so, when I talk about it on my stories on Instagram, I get so many questions about whether I'm considering a boob reduction. I 100%, I'm like 98, 99% sure I'm going to be getting a boob reduction in the future. But I just want to make sure I'm finished feeding my babies first. So we'll get that out of the way. So for now, we're just going to have the cute bras to lift them up. Get out of the way, innit? Bish bosh done. Bish bosh bash. Bish bosh, fed baby, off you go to college. No more titties. Small, <laughs> small please. So I can breathe. Okay, so we're gonna love you and leave you guys. I think we've done a lot of rambling in this vlog. I don't know how many days we've vlogged over. But I don't think I've done much rambling. No. I know. I don't even know if I have either. No, it's all meshing into one at the moment. I know, I know. The weeks just fly by, don't they? Uh, well, it's only been a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's literally been a week in a couple of days. So I I'm know. Like, guys, I can't believe it's July. How many is she six months old? Like, it's it's just crazy. Months. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you very soon in the next video. That's Goodbye. Nice. Good night. <laughs>